Hi everybody, hope everyone's doing well. So today I'm going to show you two, two different version of Shadow Box uh, Tree of Life's. My friend really liked the wreath I did and she liked the Jenga block one, but she wanted more of a picture style rather than a wreath or something freestanding, the Jenga block one I did. So I thought, let's try a different style since they're just so pretty. And I'm gonna do two different ones and just show you two different ways, ones with pictures and one without. So you're gonna need four of these DT uh, picture frames. And I've already taken, so the one on the bottom will be this one. Sorry. You're gonna have to take all the backing and glass out of it. And you're just gonna pull all the little uh, things that keep the backing in the pictures. And you're just gonna pull all of them out. I've already done the other two, but I just wanted to show you. And we are gonna glue them and stack them on each other. It's a shadow box, of course, but you know, you could always use a shadow box. Maybe you have a different idea of something else you'd like to put in it. Two more, three more. And I'm gonna use some Wellbond glue. Now, those of you that don't know Wellbond, I use it with my Jenga blocks. I I just prefer using this one. I buy it at, you can buy it at Lowe's and Rona, Amazon, Michaels. That's my glue of choice other than hot glue. Just, you wanna make sure these are nice and glued down so they don't come apart. I wouldn't use hot glue. That's just my suggestion for the framing itself anyways. And then the next part, we're gonna change the inside obviously. Next part is you're gonna wanna glue this right on top. I am just gonna take out the backing, but I am not gonna take these little um, clips out. We're gonna keep the little clips on the fourth one. The other three, you're gonna take them out. We're just gonna take it out for the gluing part. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to glue them all four like this all the way around and you're going to let that sit, especially with Wellbond. Now I know a few people have reached out saying they had problems using Wellbond with a few other of my crafts. It does dry quickly, but especially with stuff that's heavy or you're trying to get things to sit upright. I do suggest leaving it for a good five, six hours. Sometimes in the in-between takes a little bit longer and the creases to, um, to fully dry where you'll see on the outside looks like it is. So I always leave my stuff a little bit longer, a couple hours, and as much as I wanna move on to the next step, I always just let everything glue for a good couple hours just so that it, you know, it glues well and it won't fall apart. So I'm gonna glue these and then we're gonna come back. All right, so nicely glued together. It's really solid. The next step is we're gonna do is the mirror. Now, I don't want to have, um, I don't wanna just have, I don't want the shine of the glass to come through. You can probably, if you wanna do it, I just don't think it'll look the best, is putting the um, it underneath. I just don't want the glare when it's in the picture frame. I'll just show you what I mean like this. I just don't want the glare in the background with putting the tree. I mean, you can, I just, I don't want to do it like that. So what I'm gonna do is, DT has these card stock that came three sheets and it looks, it says on um, here black, but it is gray. It's kind of a gray tone. The one you're looking at now is like, kind of gray I don't find that black at all as you can see against my watch um, but it's black on the other side so I'm just gonna use some and I did cut it to shape already off camera because it comes a little bit comes a little, just a little bit bigger than the frame itself and I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge and get it glued on there really good I'm just gonna use a brush and I'm just gonna brush this totally flat and surface and then I'm gonna let it dry so I got the back part, I already stuck it on. There was a couple little bubbles. As you can see, there's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. 
There is a few little marks here, but that's from me when I was pressing it down with my hand. I had some Mod Podge and I actually got a little bit on there, but that's gonna be covered with the tree. So I did like how it's the more the matte look, which I was looking for. Now you don't have to do that. I only suggest is doing something with the glass because I don't think the, I don't think hot glue will really work unless you use the actual um, Gorilla Glue sticks. So I'd use, you know, you'd have to do something and I don't think the paint right on the glass would hold, but that's just my opinion. I don't know, I haven't tried, but I just wanted the matte look. So the paperwork weld right on the glass. I did put it in the back. Now I did pull out, I think I threw them out, the little attachments. Let's see if I have one over here. The little attachments on the back. These things I did pull out. They're very cheap and the cardboard is very thin. So I don't think it's gonna really hold that well and I don't wanna take a chance. So I just pulled them out, stuck this back, the glass, put this back in closed it down now I will show you at the end because I don't have any on hand I'm gonna have to grab some at the store tomorrow this is the hooks now if you've watched my um my shelves that I did for the nautical one is basically the same hooks that are going to go on this side here and you don't drill them in you'd have to use some well bond like I use or some gorilla glue or um whatever glue but not hot glue and not just regular glue so but i will get to that later so you can find out oops i think i have it upside down so i want to hide that mark right there so now we're just going to grab some just some river stones from dt you know they come in the little bag basically like the the jenga block uh, or jenga block yeah the jenga block um tree of life so we're going to build up i'm going to put it on an angle here I'm not going to go up but i just want to build it up kind of like a little mountain coming down and i am just going to use hot glue because it will be sitting on a ledge and you're just going to kind of build a little bit up just to give it not such a flat look to it and you're just going to hot glue some rocks I like always picking different kind of color rocks. I'm just gonna show you here. You don't wanna to put too, too many and you don't wanna want it to be super heavy, which they're not too bad with just these couple rocks, but I do wanna build up this spot. And I'm just kinda of going down with some random rocks on the side like this it's great it has a little ledge here so they're not going to fall off or anything like that so kind of like that like a little mountain like a little hill i'm going to do that i don't like that rock kind of like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hot glue those in so now that i glued the rocks on I just added some Mod Podge, the gloss base one, that just gave them a nice shine, shiny wet look to it. And it turned out pretty good. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add the trunk. So it's gonna be a little bit different than the Jenga Block one, uh, Tree of Life, and the Jenga Block wreath I did. I just wanted to make the trunk a little different. So because this is the paper on the back and I noticed I got a little bit of glue mark here. So you'd, I think from when I, from the Mod Podge when I was putting the paper down, I wanna make sure when I'm putting on the trunk because I am gonna use hot glue that I don't wanna get any strings of hot glue anywhere because you know how it can, uh, it can actually like rip the paper and stuff like that. So one of the backings of the, um, of the, of the picture frames, I just cut one of the edges off and I kind of drew on the back, like the shape of a trunk that I'm just gonna stick here. Obviously I'm not gonna glue them down. Just so when I'm putting the hot glue, any little strings doesn't get stuck to the paper. The top up here will be the green part of the tree, but down here, I just wanna make sure I don't get any because this part will be exposed when, uh, when the craft's done. So I just wanna make sure that doesn't get any sticky stuff on it. So, 
uh, nautical rope. This is now the thicker one. Now this is the eight foot 2.43 meter one. I will show you the difference because DT has the regular super thin one that's in the um, auto, I think like the auto little auto home hardware kind of stuff. Then there's this one that they have available majority of all the time. And I'll show you the difference, the thickness. So even if you only have the smaller one, you'll just need to cut a few more strings than the bigger one to do it. So it just depends on which nautical rope you can get. So I've already cut some and they're 13 inches long. I just used a clamp here and the clamp is from DT. I don't know if anybody else uses those clamps. Um, so I did cut three pieces off and I did unbraid it already. I didn't fully unbraid it, but I just wanted to show you. So the three pieces I am going to do, I'm just going to do this quickly here. I think you know what I mean when you undo them. I'm And I did loosen a few more after I did take it out. And I am just gonna use hot glue. I mean, you can use some other glue if you want, but I think it's just the hot glue is gonna be fine. And the box itself is not really heavy at all. So, which is good. There's not that many rocks on there. And plus you're just putting jute rope and basically the tree top on it. When I finish this one, I will go to the other one. I will be doing a white one, and those frames are for Dollarama because here in Canada, we don't have Dollar Trees in all our provinces from east, uh, from Quebec right to the east coast. They don't have Dollar Trees, so I will do another one. It is going to be a little different, so you might like something that I do in the white one that I'm going to do that you might incorporate it in this one. So that one will be a little bit more different with pictures and stuff like that. All right, so I've just unraveled. I'm just gonna do a couple more after I've done a couple. And what you're gonna wanna do is, now there's different ways you can actually, I'm just gonna show you this way. So there's a couple different ways. Something maybe easier you wanna do is just line up a bunch like this, gluing them on and then unraveling them here and doing a bunch and building a layer up or you could do kind of like the the wreath one that I did um, that you could just like wind them all up so I'm just going to twist them like this I'm going to unravel it I think some more and then you're going to just want to place it I think I might add another one so I'm going to use like think I'm going to add another rope onto it. I'm just going to twist it and I'm going to unravel these a little bit more. You're going to make sure that you have enough on the bottom, not so much up here, but you have enough that you want to have some little pieces that you can do similar to the reef and similar to the, um, the Jenga block stand that I did. And you're just going to once you get this part glued down, then you can move to here. Now, if you find there's too many strings, which I did, I think on the Django block one, um, I just actually cut them out. So you're not gonna see them, just make sure they're tucked underneath. So then you don't have too many strands hanging out. And then you're just gonna glue them around. Up here, you will just glue them like you did if you've done one of these reefs already. Uh, Jenga block or tree of life sorry and you can just unravel a few branches you might see some through the greenery but just like that so I'm going to do that and we will move on to the next step all right so I got it all glued on and I used actually four pieces of the jute rope of 13 inches each you're not gonna see this much so if you don't have that much jute rope just cut it down it's just you're just gonna end up building the moss on there so I have these hooks and they come from another dollar store Dollarama they don't come from Dollar Tree my Dollar Tree didn't have any hooks that I liked um, they just come in a pack like this but I'm sure you can find some at the hardware store and before I put the moss on I want to flip it over and I, I honestly don't think that hook would work really well. Like I said, I mean, you want to try it, you can, but, and because it's a plastic frame, you're not going to be able to put the, 
the nails in. I am gonna use Well Bond. Do not use hot glue. And I would make sure that you let them glue. I'm gonna let mine glue overnight, um, or at least a full day before I even attempt to try to hang this. But I wanted to do this part first before we finish the front, and then we're gonna move on. All right, now that I've glued it all the way down, we're gonna use some, just some reindeer moss. I have some out of the bag here. I'll just open this one. And you're just gonna wanna start building it and stacking it in different spots. You can leave a little bit of the branches if you wanna leave some a little bit exposed. And you're just gonna start building it up. I'm just gonna use some hot glue to put on it. I'm just showing you here, I'll do the hot gluing after, so. And you're just gonna keep building it up. I'm probably just gonna go over the frame. I'll come back, we are gonna add one more thing to it, and then I will move on to the Dollarama one uh, frame and show you a little bit different, um, a different swing to this uh, Tree of Life. All right, so I just, added all the reindeer moss just built it up i actually just even put some a little bit on the frame i didn't want to put it too much on the frame i like really like how it turned out it's pretty simple it looks uh i just love it so i just took a jenga block and i had some uh jute rope but this is not the jute rope that has all the little you know the little sticky hairs out of it this is just from actually the nautical shelf that i just did and I always keep little ends of stuff that uh, if I don't use them, I can use them in a future project. So I just hot glued them right on. And I'm just gonna stick it somewhere in there and hot glue, so right like that. I'm gonna do just a little bit higher. So there was that little, little mark that I didn't like. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right on like that. And I just think it looks really cute looking, simple, plain. Let me swap it out and then we're gonna continue on to the Dollar Tree, or sorry, the Dollarama frames, only because I'm doing something different with little fences, which I think was very cute too. All right, so this shadow box one I'm gonna do is from Dollarama. So these are just two picture frames, guys. Um, it's the thicker ones that um, are obviously in the photo, to, well, where all the picture frames are. So I just glued the same process as I did with the Dollar Tree ones, except I only did two. I did the exact same thing with the backing. So the stock paper itself is actually from Dollar Tree, and it was just one sheet of white because I wanted the white. Like I said, you can use a glass if you wanna do that. I am gonna put pictures in this one. You can do this one with Dollar Tree um, frames as well except I just uh, wanted to do, like I said, I was gonna do this one. This one's for myself and the black one is for the friend. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna put some pictures. So the same concept of wrapping, unwrapping the rope right here, you're not really gonna see them. I just push them out like that. I put these in four sections. Sorry if you see my head come in there. Um, I put them in four sections because I'm just gonna put it right on the bottom frame itself. Now I'm looking through pictures and I don't know if anybody else prints all their pictures, I don't. So I just found ones of my kids when they were younger. My son doesn't like his picture, but it's okay. I think he was cute back then. So because it's the green, you wanna make something that fills in the space. You can put, I'm gonna put my kids, you know, tree of life etc. You can put your mom, your dad, you can really put any pictures you like in there and you don't even have to if you just want to do more of a white background and framing like the other one. So I have this one when my daughter was young. And the thing is I'm not even going to glue it in because if you sit it in the corner right there and it just goes in between the crack and you put it like this. Let me just move it a bit. There it's in better. And then I got this one of my son. So I like the pictures that have the green background outdoorsy look. My son, I didn't have that many printed of any ways that were outside. I do on my computer, but I didn't have any printed, but I'm gonna use this one because this one was cute. And I'm 
gonna just kind of stick it in right there on the bottom. So once you do that, now I'm just gonna move over here on my table because I wanna show you the painted version. So DT has these laser, well, they're like cardboard shapes, clip outs kind of things. They come in the straight, um, straight ones and then they come on an angled ones. I end up cutting the little ends off here on both sides and I might have to adjust one of them when we put it down, but I just end up painting them white. So you don't have to do like the white picket fence kind of, you can swap out, maybe you wanna put a different color. Um, I already painted two. So on the inside of the ledge between where the top frame hits the other frame, there is an actual ledge on there that you would put, well, I'm gonna put it on this side, would put this side, and it actually just sits there like this, and you just hot glue that down. I'm just gonna stick some greenery here because this little bit of greenery will actually just keep it up because it's not glued. Well, maybe not. So then you're gonna do the other side. So I did the more angle on there, like I said, depending on what frame. So it kind of looks like they're in their yard. I think this is the one that I am gonna cut back a little bit because I don't want this interfering too much with the tree part. So now you can see on this one here, I did it a little bit different than the other one. The bottom of the the, I guess you can call it the roots. Now I'm gonna take some rocks and I'm going to just kind of split it and I'm gonna have to cut it, I think. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner. Sorry if you guys keep seeing my head, I'm trying not, it's hard to do with that, I'm not. And then I'm just gonna swap it out and stick it in like this one. And you can hot glue those in. You might just wanna pull the tree like such. And obviously when I show you when I put the rocks on, and then I'm just gonna put some rocks. I'm gonna do a little bit of Mod Podge on the rocks too, just for a little bit of a shiny look. They're not gonna sit properly right now because obviously the picture frame is on an angle. So I'm gonna stick that in there with a bit of uh, greenery, some reindeer moss. I am gonna stick some reindeer moss here and do like I did on the black one. And it's gonna turn out super cute. So let me do that off camera. I'll come back and show you. I'll put them both on the wall so I can show you on a wide angle what, the, what they look like side by side. Not that I'm keeping both of them, but just to show you the final result. All right, so I just wanted to show you them together. I was gonna show you on the wall, but I don't have space for both of them. So I just thought I'd show you like this. So with the family cutout, wood cutout, um, laser cut, I just got two of the family signs from DT. I just used one and I just spray painted it white and stuck it on. I did add a few little um, roots on the bottom, just three little strands and just hot glued them on, put a little bit of moss. I forgot to show you earlier on the back, especially with the ones from Dollarama, they actually did come with a really good tight um, uh, clip in the back. So you didn't have to do like the Dollar Tree to add the two clips. So from the first frame, uh, the edges is my, the second frame that I took out in the backing and the glass, but you could just use the backing and you don't even have to add the extra clips like I did said on the other one. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these in the comments and we'll see you soon. Happy crafting. Bye.